faraway dreams and mysteries of other worlds, other life, the stars. guys so out in the pretty much the same place on the last video as you can see I'm on my kayak I haven't gotten a chance to uh, really fish on my kayak much so I do appreciate Mike bailing this time <laughs> me and Mike were actually planning on doing a top water challenge in this place on the other side as we showed you on the last video when we went over to the other side was the lash allower and uh, yesterday got up to like 80 something degrees if I'm not mistaken and today has been beautiful out today as well in the 70s high 70s so figure let me give some top water a shot it might be a little too early still but we're still gonna give it a shot if not we're still gonna throw some spawn or pre-spawn lures and give it a shot but it's a beautiful day hopefully we can get some bass okay Oh wow, I just lost the fish on the Rapala. <laughs> oh boy, it was a small one though. Yes, I did say I was gonna do some top water, but I was like, man, this looks so juicy here. Why am I not throwing something till I make it over that bridge right there? So I tossed the Rapala on that spot right there and something just smacked it. So kayak fishing is definitely a whole different world so i'm still trying to get used to that kayak fishing life i just love being out here man i just love nature anybody that knows me they know that's that's my strat as they say that was my first rapala fish ever honestly i made a really good cast I think he might have just been there in that shallow section and he hit it. I don't know if they really love this thing yet. Over here. Oh, guys, what just happened? Do you guys see what's going on? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I gotta go get this fish, man. What just happened? Yo, this is the craziest shit that's ever happened to me before. Craziest. Feel bad, at least the fish, he's swimming a little bit. There you go. I don't know if he came off already, but 
Oh yeah, he's still there. Jeez. Oh god. Can't even get in here. There's a stump right over here. What the heck, guys? I don't know if you guys saw that or if you can see it on the camera. But look at this. <laughs> he was just chilling right here and my bait just happened to actually freaking hit the water and he slammed it. I felt it. Yo. And this is why I use braid, guys. I don't even know where my Senko went. He was so well hooked. What just happened, guys? I mean, I'm just having a terrible day of casting. Just like a terrible, terrible day. <laughs> I just got lucky there. I'm not gonna lie, I just got lucky. Let's get this fish. It's not a big fish. My first bass in the kayak. He's a 13 incher. Picture real quick. A quick release. Live and survive another one. Oh. Oh. Nice. Damn it, I lost that lunker log already? Damn. Shit. These guys are just taking my lunker logs today. It was just in here somewhere. Uh, 11 and a half I gotta stay over here I can't keep drifting like this is all okay bye fish didn't realize I was not recording but I had a little dink it was a fun little catch though right off uh, over here smacked it right into that log right there and he hit it but I was saying to myself is that these lunker logs have not been lasting me today. They've just been ripping them apart. Oh, oh. oh another one. Another one. I'm trying to get out of here. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb this area. Boy, he wasn't going nowhere. Guys, Texas rig. Lunker log by Guggen. Nice little fish. So this one's uh, mouth closed. 13 incher. Take a picture of him. Same size as the other one. See if it'll let me and not flop out. Have these little spots over here, man. It's crazy. Oh my god, that guy just wanted it out. <laughs> that guy splashed the hell out of me, but I deserve it though. I deserve it because I bothered you and I hooked you. I get it. All right, starting to get a little bit of the hang of it. Guys, did you see, see that chair over there? It's shallow over here. Oh, 
Got a f- mm. Oh, no! How did I lose that fish? Wow. And he took my Senko. <laughs> my look and lock. Guys, having an amazing day, but jeez. I'm just taking my bait. I don't know what's going on. That one smashed it like nice and hard. I'm gonna have to talk to the Guggen squad. Send me some more stuff for free, man. I just paid. I mean, listen, you get it from carls.com. Shop carls, I mean, dot com. And it's a lot cheaper than, you know, buying it anywhere. You can see little bass over here. Look. They're shallow, shallow, shallow today. Oh god, I got a bite. I got a bite, guys. Oh shit, 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 shit. Had a couple of little blow-ups. Don't know if it was a bass or not. Because there is carp over here. Come on. No! Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. oh my god, that was a nice one. Alright, uh, so I just want to tell you guys something funny. Me and Mike, Mike has been fishing for a longer time than me for bass fishing, so. He's taught me a lot of the stuff that I don't know. Mike loves throwing top water and all that stuff. He's very advanced. He is very simple. He only likes fishing certain certain stuff until you know I started fishing with him. He didn't really fish a lot of different stuff. So he, you know, I call him my master for fishing, and he calls me his young Padawan. So he levels me up. Man, there's fish jumping over there. So we've been talking about, you know, he levels me up every time I do something like, you know, like there's levels to fishing. Basically, uh, I think I'm at level 20 or 30 or something like that, he said, but he won't level me up until I get a frog fish. So I really want to dedicate myself this uh, season to get a frog fish and <laughs> so i had one once um on the pond that we like to fish a lot that i do a lot of the videos and um as i started hitting the record button i lost it over here of course i'm recording but once i get it to the boat is when i lose it well i don't know if that's gonna level me up or not mikey but we're coming back here to do some more top water definitely this looks magical and i got a couple of bites already as i mentioned come on come on no not again Oh my. oh my god oh my god i'm gonna cry guys i'm gonna cry this is unbelievable i don't know what i'm doing wrong here i mean i'm letting him take it i'm reeling it in and setting the hook that's what I've been studying. I mean, I'm doing every move the right way. I don't know how much better I can do it. 
I don't know if it's because I'm on the kayak, I'm pulling it too early. I mean, I really don't know. Am I trying to bring the fish in too quick? I mean, what is it, guys? Leave it in the comments if any of you guys have ever top water fished or frog fished. I mean, am I doing things right? Am I doing it wrong? What am I doing? If I am doing it wrong, what am I supposed to be doing? Definitely doing something wrong. <laughs> Your adrenaline rushes when you get a little top water action. I mean, come on, you can't get, this can't get any better. And that fish, I don't know if it's that same fish or not, and he's sitting on a bed over here or something, but I'm pretty sure that fish hit in the same spot, like right over here. Man, I'm gonna be so mad if I have to leave here without a top water, a frog fish. Damn, guys. Gotta go. I do have to go. I'm gonna hit these little lily pads here and get out of here, guys. But I'm so upset that this just happened. But I don't really need to go because sun's going down and I gotta go all the way to the other side. Let's see if I can get one over here. Whoa. What was that? Oh god, that's terrible. Cheese and crackers, guys. I wanted to get you guys a a frog fish, but that's it guys, unless by some miracle a fish bites over here. Alright guys. day man I mean not rough day I would say it's a really good day today it was a really good evening I really can't complain for coming out here for a couple of hours I was uh, the goal was to come all the way to this side and fish top water and that's what we did we fished top water at the end of the day and we got a couple of bites I really didn't want to keep fishing it more because I'm on the kayak by myself and it's hard to really row all the way back by myself. So I would stay later if I was in the canoe with somebody, but on the kayak it's kind of tough. I don't really have like a, you know, one of those super duper nice kayaks. But um, uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a debrief when I get back to the car. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. I wanted to show you guys from a further view what it was that I was fishing. So I came over and I fished all this area, all this area over here. I didn't spend a lot of time really casting into those really good spots. I had a rough time making casts on the kayak. It's rough to make the cast very different than the canoe, but I'm getting used to it. Fish all this area, all this area. Starting getting bites, you know, right over here and right by those branches in the back. I fished all that area. I got a couple more fish all the way in that area. I'm stubborn, guys. I was, I'm stubborn. You can ask my wife. ask my wife she'll tell you ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. that was the cast but nothing was in there guys I'm finally I have the kayak. Just load it up. What a quick little day. But 
Guys, I want to let you know I caught a topwater frogfish. My battery died on my GoPro. So I called Mike. And you know what's crazy? When I caught that fish, he was just calling me back, FaceTiming me. So what happened was is I went past the bridge on my way back and I was like, You'll see on the video, I was like, I'm too hard-headed, I'm too hard-headed. So I started fishing. Not even a, a minute after the battery died, I caught that fish. And again, Mike was FaceTiming me there, so I, I answered him as I had the fish with the frog in his mouth. He had it really down deep in his throat, so I really didn't get a picture with the frog. I don't know why I didn't, I should've, but it was dark, it was kinda late. He really had it really hooked under there, so I really had to, you know be very careful so i didn't kill the fish so that was so much fun the adrenaline off of the frog fish it's amazing so what i did this time i just let him eat it a little bit longer like maybe like even one second longer and i set the hook so hard he killed it like he literally had it down his throat i did take a picture which i'm gonna show you guys um it, he was about 15 inches here's the picture All that matters is Mike knows about it and now I'm leveled up. We haven't spoken about what level I'm at now. I think, like I said, I'm at level 30. So maybe I'll be level 31 now or 35. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But it was uh, very fun out there. I appreciate you guys watching another episode. There's so much more to come. I'm excited for what this summer is going to bring for us on the canoe. We have never fish this place during the summer so we're very excited about that and uh, hopefully we can catch some even bigger fish that's what the goal was this one that i caught was the bigger one we're excited to catch some bigger ones and uh, again please 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 like this video share it to your friends subscribe to the video i would really really appreciate it and if you don't want to miss an episode or don't know if you don't follow me on social media as fly is bassing as well but if you don't put the notification bell on so that way you don't miss a video when they come out you'll get an alert so again thank you for guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one